Hello folks, Paul Stranger here, and today we're with part two of Spooky's House of Jump Scare. So at first we're seeing Q. Yeah, we've seen that better, so let's head to the next area. Do, 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 do. Well, it's actually good to do another playthrough of this game. Now I did notice my microphone was quiet in the first one. So I'm closer to my microphone and speaking up loud. Yet again, like I said, just ignore on the top left because for some reason I can't record it normally in this game. So I have to record it like that, as you can see. So if you're new to if you're new to Spooky's House of Jump Scare, it's basically a, it's basically a survival horror game. You go to door to door and survive in the monstrosities that try and kill you. This game is heavily built on excellent sound and key points in the game. There's actually a game called Monster, which I have done a couple of videos on this early access I have done. Ooh, it's a bit depressing. Oh, depressing. So if you guys want me to do a, a full Monstrum playthrough, I would kindly do so. Or you want me to do a live stream of me playing it. Oh, God. oh shit, not that thing. Something's shaking, so it nearly never stops. Oh, fuck. This thing is a pain in the ass because it slows you down. Well, the goop does. And it's very annoying if you're trying to run away. Um, to avoid these monsters, you just don't go anywhere near them. And you just keep running and running until something happens. And if you do succeed of getting there, then well done. Come on. This thing. Oh god. Ow. As you can see, we have a life bar, and every time it hits us, we lose a percentage, but our life bar goes fairly up. And you will be running away from these things all the time. These are specimens. Ow! You see this thing? I'm going to try and avoid it as much as I can. Oh, get moving, you. I hate when you, like, hold it down because you just want to constantly... There's a point that you don't want to get the wrong path. Yeah. Now the music in the game is pretty well done actually. Oh god, bombs pit. And I think there is a point where this thing does stop chasing you. Um, you can tell by the music or you can tell by the environment. If there's no goop, that means it's not chasing you. Ah yeah, see? Yes. There you go, stop chasing us now. It's the question, can you outrun it? Yeah, there's a lot of running in this game. Oh, what's this? Five nights of Freddy's. <laughs> oh! Hi, hello. Uh, yes, hello. Hello? Hello. Um, hello, uh, um. Hello? Yes, hi, hello. Yes? Yes, hi, hello. Hello, yes, hello, hello. Five Nights at Freddy's reference. Um, hello, uh, 
Um. I cannot believe they added a Five Nights at Freddy's reference into this game. Ah, that's just clever. Because you can tell it's Five Nights at Freddy's. You've got the chair, and you've got the table with the fan, and the obviously enough phone call. I think she just constantly says, says that. Ah. Something's following me. Don't I feel like approaching through it's the same rooms over and over? Even though it's, I think they are, dude. The game is free on Steam. Yes, you can get it on Steam for free. Which is actually pretty good for the developer. That means he can update the game. Because the thing about Steam, you could, if you're a developer and it's and it's something like this. You can update the game pretty easily rather than, you know, constantly, you know, downloading it every time there's a new release. I think that's what the people of SCP Foundation should do. You know, SCP Containment Breach is to... Ooh, ink. Not quite... Ooh, don't need to know that, mate. What I'm basically saying is, if people who make games like this surely... My own first look there from a breath faint found before me a bottle of red wine. Boy. Okay. Um, yeah. But if the people of SCP Foundation actually added this into Steam, you know, actually, that'd be very useful for people who don't want to constantly update. Oh, oh what's this? Get ready. Oh, spooky. That's very cute. Pac Man. Ooh. Mr. Spooky. That's a bit gruesome. I know this is supposed to be a car game.
Okay, enter. Putis. Spooky. Rip off. I wanted Putis in there. So, yeah, those are the mini games. Probably 10 minutes in. I'll be uploading this in a minute. I. Uh, finish my karate. Yes, I go karate. You're probably wondering, so Ranger, how does this game work? So, um, what, every time you hit every 50 rooms, uh, at the start, it's like every 50 rooms you get to a save point, and I think it's every 100, and then every 150 you get to a save room, and I think it progresses there. It's pretty much you gotta get to a thousand rooms, but the game's not fully finished. Another cat stance, but it probably won't be accessible. Oh, okay. So, what should we do? I don't think that was win. Well, I think I'll stop there. It'll probably take hours to upload, but um, thank you very much for watching. We'll go for part three. Also, it'd be nice if the Puttis was here. In any case, um, next video will be something all right so subscribe become a ranger today and also guys do you want me to do a live stream on monstrum if so comment down below thank you